So here's what EFT, here's what the EFT process looks like. We make a statement. So I will talk with you, I will get the situation, and, and I will form a statement. And we're going to call that, we're going to call it a setup statement. And the setup statement has the negative that, that we're working on to resolve for you. In this case, the motivation and the lack of willpower. And then, so it has the negative and it has a positive. And, and they're meant to neutralize one another. And, and the whole purpose of the setup statement is like um, putting batteries in a battery operated device. So we're going to say if you don't have willpower regarding food, it's like your batteries are in backwards on that. Mm -hmm. Your batteries aren't in backwards as far as containing yourself shopping. Your batteries aren't batteries in, in, in so far as other things in your life, but with regard to food, because you form certain habits or because overeating fills certain needs, and a need could be um, need to stop down emotions. Mm -hmm. So emotions from your past that haven't been resolved, because a lot of the work with the weight is all about that. I suspect there's still anger, res residual anger from your second husband, you know, whose response to, to your gaining weight wasn't positive. And so there could be. We don't know, but there could be. What we'll find is that once we resolve those things, you're going to find it much, much easier. So we're not even talking about your weight, your food right now. We're not talking about diet. We're not talking about exercise yet. Next time we're going to deal with cravings. That'll be a big, big piece. Okay. But right now we're just looking at lack of willpower as you define it, and, and lack of motivation. Okay. And, and so we're going to use the setup statement. We say the setup statement three times. And if you know anything about how the universe operates, for some reason three is a magical number. Have you, have you um, had any sort of religion in your life at all? Not for years. Not for years. But when you did, what, what religion was it? Presbyterian. Presbyterian. Was there anything in the Presbyterian religion like three, like what was the Godhead, like Father, Son, Holy Spirit? No. no. Um, Okay, so, but in a lot of religions, three is really an important number. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, even in magic, they say something three times. Yeah. We don't know what it is. Music. Yeah. It, One, two, three. Always. Yeah. Yeah. It's just there's something about three. So somehow this does do a little click uh, with the EFT. So we say it three times, okay? And then we tap on the body's meridian points. And these are the tapping points, right here at the eyebrow, so inner eyebrow. And sometimes if we're doing this on audio, I'll be saying inner eyebrow. If we're recording, I'll either say it or, or show it, right? So it's the inner eyebrow, the outer eye. I'll be asking you, not right now, but I'll be asking you to remove your glasses just because that makes it easier. Mm -hmm. We're tapping right on the bone. In fact, if you will touch the, your, your eye, you should feel a little concave, a little indentation. Uh -huh. Do you feel that? That's a meridian point. Yeah. So there are hundreds of meridian points through your body, and that's where the energy courses through. If you touch right here at the inner eyebrow, right where your eyebrow ends, you should feel a concave indentation. A little closer to the eyebrow. More like Oh, you should okay, yeah. feel a concave indentation. Yeah. Yeah? Right under your eye, you should feel a concave indentation. Right yeah. under the eye, right? Right here. No? There might be one there too, but the one I'm looking at is right here. A little, a little closer to the center. Yeah. 
when we're doing the tapping, we don't need to be this careful because you're tapping with a couple fingers, you're going to catch it. But I'm just wanting you to get a sense. Mm -hmm. Right here is another one. Where the, the cleft is or whatever yeah. they call that. Yeah, we just say under the nose, but yeah. Or, uh, can you feel, if you just press it, you should feel a concave indentation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Under the mouth. And then here, but this way, don't need to worry about. Because we're going to be, we're going to be tapping for under the collarbone. Yeah. Does it matter which side? Or? No. no. Doesn't matter which side because I if noticed you do you're one, doing that the other day when I was here. The, with doing this? Yeah. Uh huh. Um, probably because I was noticing an emotion coming up, and I wanted to clear it. And uh, I'll do that quickly for me. Oh. Okay. And you'll, you'll see. You'll start doing it yourself. And then there's a point under the breast. Women don't like this very well, but um, I sometimes like to use it because th this is this where, where the anger. This is this is the liver the liver point. Okay. Then there's one a lot of women don't like very well. It's like four inches under the um, armpit, where your bra is, mm -hmm. and and we tap there with four fingers. Okay. And then. There are meridian points in here, and we can, we get them just by doing this. Okay, and then the top of the head. This is called 100 points because all the meridians sort of come together at the top of the head. Okay, just right at the. Yeah, of the I like I like just sort of going like back and forth. Yeah. Now a lot all these meridians are are named by um, organs, but we don't need to worry about that. But the stomach meridian is the liver one. So, acupuncturists are concerned about this. For them, that means something. When we're doing this work, we don't need to worry about it. There's another one too, I often do this one. Okay, but I'll be guiding you through it. 